This is section 5.8, Transcendental Functions. In this video, we're going to go through number 63 in your book. It's asking us to find the integral of this function. Okay, like a lot of other problems in this section, we first look at this and it looks super crazy. So in order to find the integral of this function, we're going to have to combine a couple different rules that we've been learning in these previous sections. So what I'm going to do for this problem is I'm going to use u sub, the thing we learned in section 5.7. And different from other problems that we've been doing with u sub, instead of setting just like one thing equal to u, I'm actually going to set this entire numerator equal to my u. So it becomes 4 ln x plus 5 equals u. Taking the derivative of both sides, I get on the left here, derivative of ln x is 1 over x. Remember, I still have this 4 in the front. Derivative of 5 is just 0. So this becomes 4 over x dx is equal to derivative of u is just du. Solving for my dx, I'll have to divide this over to the other side. So I get dx is equal to x du over 4. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in our dx and plug in this uh, part of the function back into my original function and see what I get. So now in terms of u, this becomes, this top part is u over x. My dx becomes x du over 4. And now this problem is a lot simpler because see, these x's cancel. And now I'm just left with 1 fourth u du. And I definitely know how to take the integral of this. Using my power rule, I just add 1 to the exponent, so it becomes u squared. And now I'm going to divide by this new number, so it becomes 1 fourth times 1 half u squared plus c, since it's indefinite. And simplifying this a little bit, uh, this becomes 1 over 8 u squared plus c. But remember, I want my answer in terms of the variable I started with. So I'm going to plug in this original part in for my yield. And I get as my final answer, I have 4 ln x plus 5, all that squared, over 8 plus c. And that's it for this problem. So we learned in this section that we have a really confusing problem to start with. But using a couple of different methods that we've been learning, either u sub or the formulas that we've learned in this section, we're able to rewrite it in a way so that we know how to take the integral of it. And our answer comes out pretty simply. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts covered in this video are true no matter what calculus class you're in, but all the sections and problems I referenced were from this textbook right here. And remember that if you're a registered Baylor student, we offer free tutoring on the first floor of Sidrich. You can either schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment online or just drop in whenever you're available during our business hours for free tutoring. For more information, feel free to visit our website.